Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am so sorry for not uploading in a while. And this is actually 940 in the middle of the night. We're gonna get four defenders off the bat. And I'm so sorry for not uploading. Kind of has slipped away from my mind. Sorry schools a lot. And YouTube's just kinda not my first priority right now, even though it should be. My bad. But yeah. So today we have an epic shield wall fortress battle and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat this map easily as the person who owns the fortress. I know the one that you actually play, you don't own the fortress with, so you're just going to have to bear with me. I think it's funner playing as the fortress, but it's whatever. Okay, we're going to make our stand here because it's kind of cool getting reinforcements. Nail their back lines, charge in. Pick off their back lines, that's what I do. If you just throw them straight across their row, it always hits somebody. So then it makes their line collapse somewhere. That's the strat I go with. So let's go for this one. Speed run. Quickest one yet. Okay. Green's gonna be like all out of points here soon. Green's gonna have to make their final stand or something. Actually, I'll let them fight it out. I wanna see what happens. Purple's got some javelins, they get no hits with it. They're going in for the attack. Oh, I just, my bad. There looks to be like green's dominating. Looks like him. I'll let green get the flag back and then we'll attack. We'll see who, with green having an advantage, if we can still get it. Because I'm an honest man. Okay, let's attack. Charge him, boys. Take him out at the legs. Okay, I'm like 2v1ing these boys. Let's go. Boom, yeah. You can't do anything. Boom. Let's take them out from the back line. They can't do anything. They're fighting both in front and behind. Whoop. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, where are you going to look? Yep, that got you killed. Whoop. Where are you, where, what, whoop. Where are you looking? Where are you looking at, bud? That is what I call finessing. Oh, no. We do not have a big enough military. Hold them, boys. I'll take him down. I can be a hero. Oh, oh, you're getting juked out, son. Okay, charge him, boys. Oh, no, I died. No, no, no. No! Okay, good. We got reinforcements. We're kind of swimming in money, though, right now. So, yeah, school's just been really busy, guys. I hope you guys can kind of understand that. I know some of you guys are probably in high school. And all of you guys are from different parts of the world, so, I mean, that's always cool. But, um, yeah, so, it's been, it's been a lot with classes, especially, because this is my opinion on high school. High school would low-key be the easiest thing in the world if you choose to make it that. Like, if you do no sports and you don't, like, take, uh, not AP classes, like, honors classes... Then high school's a breeze. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, but like, if you kind of want to set yourself up for like a future, like I don't want to say future because that's like a horrible term to use because like you can still easily have a future without being like really successful. Like you know what I mean. Like high school wise, like there are people that sucked at high school that still did really well in other career paths. But like, if you wanna. If you don't want to have that 50-50 chance, I guess, is what I'm saying. So, stay in school, boys. Stay in school. But yeah, so that's my opinion on high school. I think that it's pretty good, but like at the same time, it's only really good if you don't care about the results. I feel like that's just as humans mentally, that's like something we can easily wrap our heads around. Like... No one cares the outcome of a soccer game that doesn't matter. Like, if if your coach goes, oh, this is just an exhibition game, guys. This doesn't care about our record. You still want to win, but, like, if you don't, you're not heartbroken for years or weeks or whatever. 
or you're not like that's the game that ruined my whole career obviously that's a little drastic high school i don't think it, well there's certain people i guess that could claim that like high school like kind of set them back but like usually typically like high school like matters more than middle school so if you're in middle school enjoy the days of chilling not doing much having 30 minutes of homework but still thinking that's a bunch trust me i was in your shoes i also thought that and then i woke up to high school of doing three hours of homework every night and want to cry myself to sleep but we live and we learn okay boys once we get this flag we'll have the w Charge them. Okay, I need to do that. Boom. Oh, nice dodged. Boom. Nice dodged. Boom. Straight wave. Okay, go. Charging in. Nice. So, yeah, guys, that's like my opinion on high school, I guess, overall. I would recommend it. I would recommend staying in school and trying your hardest, but if you are thinking of a field that is not mathematics, science, English, anything like that, I would recommend, if you're not going into any of those fields, yes, you can take it easy during high school. If, I recommend taking arts classes, though, if you're into like that, or drama, or acting, because obviously school's a little traditional, so if you're in one of those creative, artistic genres of career, then I would recommend focusing on that. But obviously, don't just not focus on anything and just be wandering. Or if you're into content creation, go full in. Like, I'm doing this part-time, so I don't want it to come off like this is my full-time thing. But, like, thank you guys for supporting. I'm sorry that I it took me 12 days to upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.